Okay, welcome back guys. So let's carry on from where we left off. So we're done with this piece. Put some more down with this. Then I would I will just <clears throat> temporarily hide this for now. I don't want to see that. Then let's go and create some eyebrow hairs for this. So I want to download some more references to use okay so I'm, I'm looking for something on shapes or on shaped whichever word you prefer to use so <coughs> something like this looks good enough okay so let's go and select the scalp for the eye the eye then we'll come in here create new description to be on the new collection, so in this collection, let's just name this to I scalp underscore collection <coughs> C O L L. So this should be the I brow underscore hair underscore description DISC DISC is plan running the process of his place now shipping guys okay create mm, I just okay we're good I'll just keep popping out <clears throat> Yeah. Um once we need to I want to do things first, two things. I come into this I drop down arrow, click in here. I don't just to auto update update PV automatically, so turn it off, then hide this. So it should not be auto updating anymore. Go back to the eyes cap collection in here. Let's just start by pasting <clears throat> pasting this so 0, 0.0 okay, then 0. 0.0. 0.71 0 0.76 this is here first 0. Point, 0. 0.71 we'll go to next one 0. 0.76 all right I think that is fine let's do a quick save okay Okay, so let's get to it. So let's hide. Yeah, let's hide this. Okay. Um. Do I need to hide this? Okay, yes, I think so. I should hide that also. Okay, so now let's create some guides in here. So click on this. Make sure eyes cap selected. Eye description. Okay. Okay, so I'm using this as a main reference. So the idea is kind of map block out. So they just starts by blocking out the start and the end. So I'm I'm going to use like the three points. I let me just call it the three points method. So <clears throat> uh, we would go like yeah yeah. Then the end point should be somewhere. Let's see. Uh, let's see something around somewhere around the year. Okay, so then I know from this three point now it's kind of like a block out for where the other parts of the year should be. Okay, so I would begin to use this move brush bend this over like so okay let's add a shoes or add a curve to it okay 
select this so I'm keeping the shape in mind so this one should be bending all across here all the way here like so and this should be <clears throat> moving along this pathway like so so I need to I want to push it very close to the skin <clears throat> very close to the skin select this also can I rotate this very close to the skin let's see okay believe I can Okay, select this also. I just use this copy brush instead and push this close to the skin. <clears throat> Only pretty much like that should be fine. Now let's just keep adding some more points to this. Okay, let's go somewhere around here. So around here, here also, <clears throat> then here, here, and here. All right, that should be fine. Then we need some more. We need some more for the midpoints. Something like so should be fine. Okay. So this we just need to get this facing more like so. Just trying to add some kind of curve to it, somewhat of a curve to it. Okay. Now, I didn't mention if you want to kind of move a let's say I select this now. I want to kind of move it. I believe if I'm not forgetting, how do I move this? I've totally, for, I've totally forgotten. How do I move a point? Uh, okay, yes, yes, I remember now. Move a point. I you know, I remember now. Move a point. You have to click on <clears throat> add points here. Click on add points, then you middle mouse, middle mouse click and drag. Then you can drag this wherever you want it to be. So that will move it to this place. I not even move it, not even moving it. So let's select this again. Let's go to an edge. Move guide. So middle mouse scroll and drag. Why is it not working? What's going on? It's supposed to work now. It's supposed to work. That was supposed to make it work. Probably you need to be very close to it. Very, very close to it. Very close to it. Interesting. It's not still moving. Let's let's try it somewhere else. Let's see if it moves. Wow. Why is it not moving? Great. That's just great. That was supposed to make it move. That was supposed to make it move. Middle mouse scroll and drag. Fantastic. Probably, probably is a bug or something, but that's supposed to make it move. But anyways, I think we are in here now. We're where we're supposed to be. Select this. Push this towards the skin. Select this also. Push this towards the skin. Same with this. Push this towards the skin. But the funny, the funny part. Okay, yes, not really the funny part though. But anyways, so if we should, let me do a quick save. Put this up here. 
select all of this and mirror this to the other side <coughs> okay so now we know where our three point system is already then we can just block out where uh, okay okay that will work okay so let's create a max for this Okay, let's first start by increasing this. <clears throat> Remember, we turn off automatic update, so it sh nothing should be updating around here except we come in here and click on it by ourselves to so update hairs around it. You can see how hairs have been generated out of this now. Come in here and just type in, I think 40 should be just fine. Generate again, come in here, turn this off. Okay. Then let's create a density max for this so come in here, create map. I'll put this at 50, put this at full black. Come in here. Um what's that again? Uh okay, my brain does fools. Um okay uh eyebrow underscore density underscore max eyebrow density max okay that's fine click on create <coughs> turn this off make sure why every month should this turned on double click in here Painting full white, wasn't a solid brush for this. Scroll down under stroke, let's turn reflection. Take down the brush size very, very much, like down very much because it's gonna block out where the shape should be first. Okay, so the shape should be somewhere around the uh, like this all the way stopping here okay that's fine then all the way stopping here like this that's fine this will work then increase the brush a bit more then let's paint in side of it Keep in mind, it does not it doesn't have to it doesn't have to be extremely perfect. Okay, something like this <clears throat> should work. All right, so let's do a quick save here. I'll save this. Save this again. Come in here. Let's try the ascent texture. Increase this all the way up. Send texture, close this, save this texture, save this again, control S. Then let's see what we have. Let's manually update this now. Turn off wireframe on shaded, turn on this. Okay, close click out. <clears throat> yeah, something like this would show something like this should work. They will increase the density of it. <clears throat> Fire this again. This is neat. This is neat work. This would work. Okay. I don't think I'll okay, let me hide this for now. I don't think I would even want to blow out the edge. Let's just blow out the edge just a tiny bit like this so double click in here just put this on the blood tool then reduce the brush size a bit more like this and we can just blow out the edge so try as much as possible to see we can just do it in one stroke all the way one stroke all the way down
okay okay i think we are good i'll save this again save 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 update this <coughs> save texture save the entire file <clears throat> okay it seems fine this would work I believe the size is okay for here this, this is fine this work uh, probably increase it some more increase the density some more we are going all the way up okay then I think we can just move quickly with this. <clears throat> uh, come in here. Okay, come on quickly with this. So add <clears throat> a clumping modifier. A clumping modifier. Let's turn on this auto update in here now. So let's come in here. Let's see. Yeah, I think we need a bit. We need a bit more. Let's try ten. Generate. Let's put this here. I think I will need even a bit more than that. Let's try twenty. Generate. Mm, okay. Save. Okay. We have something in there now. Okay, then I would just <clears throat> let me create a new density max for this density clumping clumping. I keep confusing myself. Clumping rather. Uh, let's type in <coughs> sorry <coughs> forty in here. Okay, let's add noise. Mm. Reduce this noise intensity to 0.5 or the maximum for 0.5. I'll hide that noise for now. Hide this clumping two. This clumping one. I need to adjust a few things in here. I think I would. Um, Let's drop this up some more. Something around something around the nature of this should work. Maybe something like this. Turn on the clump in two. Let's add some variations to this. Get this. Something around, let's see, something around like so should be fine. Turn this off and on, not much different, but still okay. This is just too much noise, so maybe I should randomize this noise instead. Let me use this, let me use this instead. Copy. Place this in here. Let's see what let's see what we have. So there isn't so much going on there, which is okay, this is what I want. <clears throat> then I'll just quickly add the codes modifier in there. This should be fine the way it is. It doesn't need to be extra special or anything. This should be just fine the way it is. Okay. So that's that quickly we can just create eyebrow. If you want to go in there and create some more details for the eyebrow, that is completely fine. That's completely up to you also. But I think for the most part, this should work just right about fine for it. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. And please make sure you subscribe. It encourages me to kind of it encourages me to drop more content for you guys. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.